It's Pelle here today from Editing Visuals and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the shake bump transition in After Effects. And before we start with the tutorial I just wanted to let you guys know that we recently launched a new editing pack called the Color Glitch Pack and you guys can save $10 by using the discount code Pelle. Let's get right into the tutorial now. So the first thing we're going to do is to import some clips to use for this effect here. As you guys can see I have some clips here I'm going to be using. And after that you're going to be making an adjustment layer. So Ctrl Alt Y. And we're going to go to a transition point which is going to be here. We're going to make a marker on the adjustment layer by pressing the star key. Or we can press this key here. After that I'm going to go 3 frames to the right and then 3 frames to the left. And I cut the adjustment layer. And the first effect we're going to be adding is called the transform. And we're going to set the scale at the transition point to 150. Press the clock, go to the end, set it to 100. And then go to the beginning, set it to 100 as well. After that we're going to be opening up the adjustment layer. Effects, transform, and here we're going to be marking the keyframes. Then you're going to press F9 and then open the graph. And here you're going to make a pretty sharp graph. So you're going to drag this one in like that. This one in like that as well. And then drag these two down to something like that. And this will make this kind of bump here. Which looks very clean. After that we're going to be adding directional blur. And here we're going to drag up the blur length to 300. And click the clock at the transition point and go to the ending, set it to zero. And then go to the beginning, set it to zero as well. And then you're going to open up direction blur here, mark the keyframes, press F9, open the graph. Here we're also gonna make a sharp graph, but not as sharp as before. So just do something like this, works well. Then you can go out and you guys can add the motion blur option here. So it becomes even smoother. And this is the, how the transition looks like in action. And now you guys can just press Ctrl D to duplicate it and add it on the next transition point. So something like that. So now we have it on the, all the transition points here. And to not make it so repetitive, we're going to change the direction to 90 degrees to every other effect and change it. And this is how it looks. It looks super clean in my opinion and easy to use. And now I'm going to be adding a effect from our color glitch pack, which is really going to make a really cool look with this uh, shake bump here. I'm basically going to make a adjustment layer, so Control alt y and if you're going to buy the pack, use the discount code PELLE to save $10. And in the pack, we're going to be using the fourth effect. I'm going to be adding the effect to the adjustment layer. And this is how it's going to look now. It looks pretty cool, but I'm going to change the blending mode of the uh, adjustment layer to overlay instead. Just like that, I changed the blending mode here to overlay. And you get this kind of look here, it almost looks like a CRT-ish style here. Looks super cool. And now to make it pop, we're going to add the adjustment layer again. So Control alt y And here we're going to be adding Glow. And for the first Glow effect, I'm going to set the Glow threshold to 12%. And I'm going to change the Glow intensity to 0 0.4. And after that, I'm going to change the Glow operation to Screen. Then press Control D on the glow. For the second glow, we're going to set the glow threshold to 45%, the glow radius to 250, and the glow intensity to 0 0.7. Then press Control D again, set the glow threshold to 30%, glow radius to 500, glow intensity to 1, and then set the glow operation to add. And this is how it's going to look. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. And now we're going to see how it looks in motion. And now all of this in motion looks incredible in my opinion with this color glitch CRT effect here we added. Looks super cool in my opinion. And if you want to get this pack, check out our website editingvisuals.com where we have editing packs that's really gonna take your editing to another level. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video. Check out our socials, check out our Discord server. And uh, I will see you guys soon guys. Take care and uh, have a nice day.